Alrighty guys, how's it going? Little tips here, and today I got a bit of a treat for you. So I'm going to be starting the the uh, survival challenge series where I play every single nation in the game, whether it's like releasable or starring nation. I'm gonna be declaring war on the entire world. So I was just gonna be a little prologue to the series just so you guys know how it works. Our first nation we're gonna be playing is Abkhazia. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's a small releasable nation in the Soviet Union. It has half a million civilians, uh, one victory point, and one civilian factory. So it's going to be an interesting run. I'll throw up a picture of all the stats. Um, yeah, it's we're, we're starting rough here, so it's going to be an interesting playthrough. Hope you guys enjoy. If we hit 15 likes on this video, I'll release the next episode early as well. Um, I'll probably do that with all of them until we hit the 200 subscriber goal, in which case I'm going to be making them all anyways. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to hop right into it. So, obviously with uh, this country being releasable, I'm going to have to start as a Soviet Union. Then I'm going to have to release them. So, of course, to start, we'll be going with zero historical AI focuses. Or, not zero, but it'll be turned off. To be honest, this is the first Soviet star I've actually ever done. I've never really played Soviets before, but uh, we're going to go through occupied territories. As we can see, we have Abkhazia here. They have uh, no resources. They got one factory and <laughs> 7,000 manpower. So, oh, okay. I can't actually release them until I complete something. Uh, Autonomous Soviet Republics. Where do I do that? Okay, so it looks like I have to uh, get to this focus first. How do I get there? Okay, so it looks like we have a bit to do before we can actually get to our country. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, use console commands. And yeah, otherwise I'm going to spend forever just as the Soviets before I can even release this so let's see what i can do here Alrighty, so i went ahead and found a console command so i'm going to quickly copy and paste the tag here then we're going to release then country tag there we go so we released our country here um yeah this is gonna be interesting <laughs> and i'm gonna have to do another uh tag to actually become the nation now we are starting as our newly released country of abkhazia so it's nothing too fancy um we got some mountains here which might be helpful uh plains here plains here mountain mountain so i might end up abandoning these two spots so we can Hide in the mountains. I'll try to hide uh, with some mountaineers. Manpower is not looking too good. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, so if you guys are interested in uh, giving suggestions on the next country we play, uh, looks like the next one will be Afghanistan. So go ahead and leave some suggestions in the comments. And I'll be sure to use them once I play as this next nation. And I'll also post the stats for Afghanistan as well. Just so you know what we're working with. Alrighty guys, we are in 1937. So I've done a lot for uh, research. And I've also gotten this uh, communist revolutionary in the government. So eventually I'm going to try and become a communist nation. That way we can take advantage of the 500 weekly manpower. Because uh, we're going to need manpower pretty bad. Now, I think the game's bugging a little bit. Uh, it says we have 7,000 total manpower. But if you look, we only have 118. So I think I'm going to use console commands to give myself some manpower. Cause I think it just didn't transfer over when uh, I released it from the Soviet Union. So I'll probably give myself 7,000 manpower. Um, other than that, it's been pre going pretty good. I uh, got a lot of research done for industry. Then 
I don't think I've done too much here. I think I got the support weapons. Um, I still need to make a division template, but once I do that, we should be good. Um, but we're going to go for another year. I'll bring you back once something happens. Already, I went ahead and got this basic template. Pretty much all I did was uh, edit the existing division. Uh, they had like 12 mountaineers, so oh, my cat is on my keyboard. Uh, <laughs> but I pretty much just changed it to six mountaineers instead of 12, uh, just so we're not reaching our special forces cap too quickly. And I also plopped in a uh, artillery group. So we're going to save and train them up. Alrighty, we're a little bit into 1938 now. So I'm still in the middle of producing my first division. I uh, was waiting on some support equipment and they'll be all set. Um, we're about, we're, we're getting pretty close to becoming communist. Uh, eventually we'll be able to have them in. And then I just need to actually uh, <laughs> get the thing that gives me the 500 weekly manpower. I uh, did quite a bit of research, and I've also gotten most of the uh, industry set up. Other than that, not too much else going on. I'll go ahead and bring you back once something happens. Alrighty, we are in 1939, and it looks like uh, not necessarily World War II starting, but we got a little conflict between Germany and France. Now, if we go back to me, we got two divisions now. Um, Manpower is still not the best, but we are getting 500 weekly due to our uh, ideological loyalty. And we're also uh, communists now, which is how we got that. I made a new template with just normal infantry for when our special forces cap hits. And I've got three military factories here. However, uh, while I'm considering building more, I don't really have resources to uh, make much, so I don't want to have too many like factories running with nothing or else some of the factories will straight up refuse to make anything which would be unfortunate um so other than that i'm just building some forts i got level three land forts here as well as some level two coastal forts i'm still working on one of those uh next step is to build some anti-air then i think soon i should be ready to declare war um, hopefully the Soviet Union will be busy elsewhere, which I think there's, yeah, they still got a civil war, so I think I should be fine, uh, assuming they're still having it once I'm ready. But, uh, other than that, I don't got too much else going on, just working on some more units, and I'll see you guys when something happens. Alrighty, guys, we are entering 1940. Uh, so right now we got four Mountaineer divisions. We're about to have a regular division sent out, so I think it's about time to declare war on everyone. Um, I should probably go to war economy while I'm thinking about it, but we're on extensive conscription, which should be good. Uh, we don't really have to tap into our main population too much um, since we're just getting the 500 weekly manpower, so the, the main... Manpower field doesn't really do a whole lot for us since it's only like half a million people uh, that we're even able to take a percentage of. So I think we should be good there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start declaring war on everybody. And we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, and we have done it. We just declared war on the entire world. So I'm going to click all the way through these. So while I have this moment, I just want to... Ask if you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe and like button. It means a lot to me and we're currently going for the 200 subscriber goal where I will make the rest of this series if we hit those 200 subscribers. So yeah, we are at war with the entire world now. Let's just see how the odds are stacked against this. So we got 38,000 versus uh, between 11 and 22 million. So we got our work cut out for us. Uh, we did just get a new division, so we're going to go ahead and throw them in, and we're going to see how this goes. So for right now, I'm hoping to avoid marching out too much. Um, I might take this really quick just to sort of stop their planes, to stop that local airbase at least. Um, as always, 
whenever I declare war on the entire world, everyone just sort of joins factions, so it always looks a little funny. Uh, I'm going to cut off this port as well. Then, can I take this too? Oh no, I don't want to go that far. Otherwise, they'll expand the front line. Yeah, look at my mighty empire. We've done it. <laughs> We've beaten the Soviets. We took this port without anything. Uh, but no, for real though, um, that's going to be an interesting match. Uh, looks like they're down to between 10 and 22 million, so the odds are even better in our favor. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I've never really had to play as someone quite this minor. Uh, we've had like Liberia, Ireland, El Salvador, but those at least had a few factories, whereas with this, we really only had one to start with and of course it was taken up by the consumer goods so we really had to start from scratch with this one um what are you talking about okay uh a little confusing but uh <laughs> apparently the the finnish snipers are the ones giving us trouble and of course kanutuva is the uh powerhouse of the Tuvan block up. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, so as you can tell, Tanatuva is a very big enemy of ours. Uh <laughs> oh no, they border us. Uh the, <laughs> the great Tanutuvan uh Empire is bordering us. Well not really their empire, but their faction. Oh no. <laughs> the Tanatuvan block. Oh, Whatever will we do? That's actually kind of funny. Tanatuva united the world against us. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're here now. Oh no. <laughs> the Soviets have... Oh no. Tanatuva is uh, controlling the Soviet Union. This is uh, not good. Oh, what is going on here? So yeah, we'll get this person back. We'll let them take that. Um, what? Alright, they are surrounding us, bro. Oh no. <laughs> of all the things I thought I've seen, I've never seen a Tanatuva faction. <laughs> That's really the most powerful in the world. Like, sure you got this one that has America in it, but they're kind of just all over the place. No, Tanatuva is literally, like, united this entire section of the world like poland and the soviet union them being friends is something i've never thought like i would see especially considering how historically things went but um especially like i think it was like the 1920s like the early soviet union tried taking on the early poland since they really just got independence but you know it's a interesting scenario it's this uh, challenge brings out a lot of interesting things. It right, looks like we are facing the first major offensive, which, well, the first offensive, I should say. I don't know if it's really major, but so far we're winning okay. They're just sort of throwing themselves at us. Um, oh, what the heck? No, I don't want the allies on my side. Get out of here. Now, if we look here, We've taken about 500 casualties and dealt about 5,000 to them. So, pretty good ratio. Um, of course, we don't have... Well, actually, we do have unlimited manpower. We're gaining 500 a week. Um, so, we could, in theory, do this forever, assuming our industry can keep up with it. Um, we're gaining a decent amount of stuff every day, of course. Not, like, major levels, but... Uh, we should be able to keep up with everything. Alright, we're, we're pushing. <laughs> they left it wide open, so... I went ahead and took a little bit of an area here. Um, obviously, I don't really intend to keep it, but... Uh, it's still pretty fun just to uh, have this whole area. Let's show them who's boss. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so the... Uh... Oh, this place fell. So, yeah, the... Civil War with the Russians is over, which means there's going to be a lot more heading for me. I'm going to have to retreat back to my area. So I'm just going to edit this, so we're pulling back. Get out of there. 
We'll let them have their little town back. We just want to show them who's boss. Who's really in charge here? We could we could destroy them if we wanted to, obviously, but uh, we're uh, we're merciful here, you know. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that quite yet. Yeah, so far it looks like things are going okay. We're just about to hit twenty thousand kills compared to about one point five thousand on our end. So overall, looking pretty good. I might have to increase my forts, but uh, doesn't seem like they're doing too bad. Uh, I just want to be a little bit more secure. All right, I'm trying to do a little bit of a cover attack just for the fun of it. Um, obviously, I don't want to sit here the entire time, but it's a lot of fun to sort of just mess with them, especially when they got the attrition going on because um, they're not properly supplying them. But, um, you know, it's, it's definitely interesting. Oh, surprising enough, France is actually kind of holding on. Um... Looks like the Swiss might cause them um, a bit of a run for their money, but uh, they're actually managing to hold off the Germans, which is interesting. Looks like, um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so a bit interesting. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you the straight order of what happened. So obviously Paris fell, France capitulated. Um, as after they capitulate, the British Franco British Union starts. Um, what already? So we're a bit into 1941. We haven't really seen too much activity. Um, right now we're looking at about nearly 3,000 of our own losses compared to 62,000 of theirs. So uh, we're looking at what's that? Almost a 20 KD. I might be dumb. Yeah, 20 KD. Um, we're also looking at a very interesting road map. Um, oh my goodness. They've done it. <laughs> Tanatuva on South of South Dakota. What the heck is going on? We're not really half, but Tanatuva's landed in America, bro. Oh my goodness. They, oh, why is this so cursed? Um, anyways, Washington is pretty close to getting captured. There's a huge push. They've unfortunately captured my home. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm under the Tanatuvan government now. But, uh, <laughs> for real, though, um, very interesting, uh, map that we're looking at. Yeah, South America is also a mess. Um, there's all that happening. We have uh, this British mess where Mosley is fighting Mustache Man. Um, this is going on here. Denmark somehow has this despite it being surrounded. And this is a uh, impassable area. So you know how it is. Um, I don't even know what's going on here. Um, this looks pretty normal. But yeah, this this map is cursed. We got whatever the heck this is, some Italian state. I don't even know, bro. But um what Oh, you're still in. This is interesting, but we're gonna keep on going. Uh I might go another year or two. If nothing really happens here, then I'm gonna call it a success. So apparently there is a uh what the heck? I can join a faction? So Spain has a faction that they've invited me to, despite me being at war with them. We're stronger together. Can I join? Please let me in. No, they didn't let me in. <laughs> I should have known. Um, alrighty, I'm going to build a naval base here to try and provoke a uh, naval attack. Just see if they're going to try it. Uh, that way we can farm some more casualties. But um, usually I'd have a lot more kills at this point. Because I have like... Usually I'm like uh, on the water somewhere. So like El Salvador I'll probably have like submarines and such sinking their convoys. But uh, here we only have uh, the Black Sea here. And we don't actually have a naval point. So... Uh, I don't think they're going to be trying to land, so I'm going to try to build one and see if I can sort of provoke it. 
Alrighty, so we're looking at America right now, and they're getting pretty close to falling apart. Uh, Chicago's been taken, Washington, D.C., Richmond. It looks like they're not going to be able to save themselves. Uh, they have their new capital in Los Angeles. Maybe they'll be able to hold uh, this western coast here, but it's not looking too good. Um, yeah, Tanatuva has been beating them up, bro. <laughs> They've taken another tile in South Dakota, and yeah, the the Tuvan block is just rolling on them, um, as should be expected. Now the Ten Tuvan block, they don't have too many enemies. They're about to defeat the biggest one, which is America, and they'll probably move on to uh, Mexico and the Central American countries. Um, but you know, other than that, they got like. South Africa, Belgium, um, Australia. Other than that, Tanu Tuvan block is looking pretty good. Maybe they'll have to fight Germany at one point, but you never know. Um, or we might not even be able to see it if it doesn't happen within the next year or two. Oh no. <laughs> this is impossible. Tanu Tuvan is no longer the leader of the, the Tuvan block. It's now Bolivia. Bolivia is now the most powerful country in the world. Well, not the most powerful, but, you know, they just took over the Tuvan block. Tuva is not going to be happy with this. Alrighty, so it looks like one major faction has just fallen apart. And that is the United States faction. Uh, so, not looking too good for them. I don't have any score, unfortunately, so we're just going to go ahead, confirm, and exit. We'll see what mess happens. Oh, no. It's... It's killing... <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. So, um... It's been split between enemies, and... Oh. America is still in Illinois. Um... And, uh... Newfoundland. So, I guess, oh, and Alaska, okay. And do they have Hawaii? No, they do not. They do have this random island here, though. Um, so, pretty much, America had to give up the entirety of their land in exchange for this Canadian island. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they got Chicago still, so not a complete loss. We still have... Uh, British taking back their colonies plus a little bit more. Uh, the Germans gaining Mexico, or at least most of Mexico, and the western part, as well as my home. I'm now German. <laughs> but uh, the Tuvan block holds Canada, but a bit unfortunate for them considering they did all the work against America. Um, or at least they were getting the credit when they were controlling it. Um, so yeah. Big uh, setback for the Tuvan block since they didn't really get America. Um, you know, it is what it is. A um, little bit of Central America has fallen to the Germans. They got the Panama Canal now, which might be a little bit of an issue for some of these sort of um, areas that are disconnected from the Atlantic Ocean. And Pretty much nothing has happened in my area, so I might end this a little early if they don't try attacking anytime soon, um, or unless something interesting happens and the Tuvan block goes to war with the Germans or something. Alright, so out of boredom, I've gone ahead and started attacking some of these Soviet positions. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Nope, it is difficult. Okay, <laughs> we ended up losing that battle. Um, Ooh, yeah, that hurt. That was 5k casualties on our side. Unfortunate. And the game thinks for having an air battle. Um, I don't have any air units besides any air guns, but you do your game. Charge. All right, might be able to win this time. Hold on, that tank is hurting. The tank, bro. Okay, that hurts. See, so yeah, we took a lot of casualties. I probably could get away and just like survive, but I want to try at least a little bit. 
it's probably not going to work out too much, but you know how it is. Okay, uh, interestingly enough, America is now my uh, ally. The great state of Illinois. Um, I don't, I'm not going to worry about declaring war on them because they're probably going to die any time now. Oh, never mind. They're only at war with the tube and block, but I'm not worried. All right, we've done it. Managed to capture a tile here. Um, let's see if I could do a little more. Oh my goodness, it's working. <laughs> Our great empire is expanding. We just have to hold the line. Oh no. All right, they're trying to take it back now. Um, oh, we're having strikes. We'll just do that. We got plenty of political power. No, we're losing it. Hold the line. No. That's okay. We still have one tile gained. We just have to keep it. No, they took it back. All right, that didn't quite work out. But it's okay. Um, They're up. Oh, wait, no, that's probably America hurting them a bit. Um, America, you need to go away. I don't want to be friends with you. Oh, Poland is the leader of the Tuvan bloc. Alrighty, Spanish commune and Finland have fallen. We're going to go ahead and see what happens with them. And Greater Portugal is, in fact, great. Now, what the heck is this? Oh, that's Kingdom of Portugal. What are they doing here? Oh, but anyways. Yeah, Finland went to Germany. They're a pretty big nation right now. They have three Nordic countries. Uh, we have the uh, restored Norman Empire is still here. But I don't really know what they're planning on doing. Um, it is a core state, so if they do end up taking France back, uh, the Norman Empire is going to have a huge core, which is going to just make them an absolute monster. But not really too much has been going on here. I'll probably go a little bit longer. Uh, if nothing happens, then I'll probably call it there. Alrighty, so we're about halfway through 1943. Nothing's really happened in a bit. So I'm probably going to go ahead and call it here. Oh, never mind that we might see something happen here. Um, all right, yeah, I'll continue a little bit more, at least till 1944. All right, we're doing it. We're making another push. We're doing it. Let's go. <laughs> we're in. All right, we're making another push here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we made it. Okay, hold it, please. All right, they're trying to push elsewhere. All right, we're gonna make a push here as well. We can. All right, we're doing it. Oh no, we're gonna lose it again though. All right, we're actually holding. <laughs> no, hold, hold the line. I don't know about this one. All right, yeah, pull back. All right, we're gonna make another push. And there we go, we took it back. <laughs> Although this, Naval base is a bit exposed. Uh, that's okay. We can just circle them. Okay, we're actually holding. Alrighty, so we've sort of just turned this into a meat grinder. They're not, like, we're not so strong that they're just not going to attack us at all, but we're strong enough to where they can't actually break through. So we're kind of just racking up some kills here. Uh, we've taken about 58,000 casualties compared to their 321,000 now. Um, so we're kind of just racking it up. I'm trying to build some forts here, although it takes a little bit since it's being attacked. Um, but overall, we're doing pretty good here. I'll probably go until halfway through 1944. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, so we are in August of 1944. So we've gone about a year longer than I uh, expected. But it's been going pretty good. Uh, we've brought them up to 577,000 casualties compared to 61,500 of our own. Um, I've been watching this a bit and we've been getting a pretty good KD. As you just saw, we barely took any losses there. Uh, maybe like 200 or so. Uh, compared, well actually not even 200. What am I saying, bro? Oh, that's more like, what, 20 losses? But um. Yeah, we barely take any, and then theirs ticks up by a whole bunch, so I'm pretty happy with it. We took maybe like 
10 losses there compared to their thousand or so. So we're getting pretty good KD at this point. Um, I probably could have just stuck these two tiles and they just never attack me again. Um, we just have like a 3,000 compared to like maybe 60,000 kills. Um, overall, it's been going pretty nice. Uh, this German and Tuvan block war has sort of just been a standstill the entire time. There's been pushes here and there. Um, like they've inched forward slightly, but they've had to pull back here a little. Um, I think they're pushing in Finland a little bit. Yeah. Other than that, not too much going on. As for America, I don't think that changed too much. Oh, actually it has British, the or not British. Oh, well, yes, the British, but uh, <laughs> the restored Norman Empire has pushed quite a bit. So yeah, not too much. It's been a pretty interesting run. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see the next episode, we either have to hit 15 likes on this video, or if we hit the 200 subscriber goal, then I'll just start making the entire series. Um, but yeah, again, next nation is going to be Afghanistan. So make sure to leave a comment on uh, what I should do while playing as Afghanistan, and I'll be sure to take your suggestions. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like. Uh, if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike. I don't mind. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time.